Hey YouTube, it's uh, early August uh, 2017, and these are my bench mates. Uh, start out here with the uh, Mini Griptilian. This knife, uh, Mel, Partu, Mel Pardue designed, 154 cm, and this is a polymer handy, handle scale. Uh, $95 knife, sheep's foot. Uh, Spidey hole. Uh, out of all the Griptilians, I like the Mini the best. Um, I think the big ones feel kind of cheap because of the polymer handle. Uh, almost like Legos or something. Here's one of those. You can hear the difference. Listen to that click. It just sounds cheap. Uh, it's a good design. Uh, might have to get a G10 handled version of one of these. This one uh, is 115. It's got the drop point and the uh, flat, full flat grind. Uh, this one, 110. Uh, same steel, sheep's foot, and a hollow grind, and the uh, spider hole gun. But still, that cheap sound, I just don't like it. Uh, Another one, uh, the Ubiquitous 940. Uh, you can get these now for 180 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe a G10 version. The uh, designed by Warren Osborne CPM S30V steel. Good steel. Uh, kind of a reverse tano and a flat grind. Um, people love these. I like it. Um, I don't. I don't uh, love it. I don't know where all that love is coming from. And uh, like all Benchmades, I think it's grossly overpriced. Uh, now, the Crooked River, the part of the Hunt series with the uh, diamond wood handle and the aluminum bolster, and a splash of orange here and there. Uh, this is a great knife. You know, as bad as I think, not bad, as underwhelming as these three I think are, this one's decent. This one is a home run. Uh, this knife, uh, 195 bucks, CPM S30 V steel, uh, clip point. If you like big knives, and you were always curious about an access lock, this would be one maybe to check out. It's a... Uh, it's a beast. I don't carry it, um, except on the weekends because of its size, but uh, but I do really like it. Um, actually, when I got it, part of the handle scale here was uh, broken out. I sent it this, I got it on a Monday, uh, called Benchmade immediately, uh, boxed it up Tuesday, got it back by Friday with a new scale on it. Uh, their customer service could not be beat, so I will give them accolades for that. Uh, next one, the, uh, the proxies. I have two of these. Uh, this was, uh, these are more investment knives for me. This was, uh, Warren Osborne right before he died. Uh, this was his last design. So I went ahead and got two of them. I actually managed to get one of the first, first production runs on this one. 543. Um, I like this knife. Uh, I don't really love this uh, sharpening choil and then this dead steel area and then another why not just combine that I don't understand uh, but uh, these have already gone up this knife cost me originally uh, I think like 250 they're at uh, they're over 300 bucks now so uh, as an investment knife this was a good idea um, and I do really like it I just don't carry it much because of uh, one to probably sell them in a year or two uh, I also got a serrated one, just to mix it up. I do like Benchmade uh, serrations, they, they seem to be pretty decent. Uh, this is a, a great knife, uh, you know, frame lock, it's got a lock bar insert on it. Um, they flip pretty good, this one uh, not so much, I have to probably oil this one. That one flips great, they even sound different. You know, the penis pocket clip, I don't understand, Benchmade, what you're thinking. Look at that. A little bulbous. 
Uh, next up, the autos. First up, let's do the Pagan. This is my uh, one and only out the front knife. And uh, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Uh, in Missouri, you can carry these, so I carry this. Uh, I don't carry it a lot. But, uh, you know, it's a cool knife. Chisel ground, uh, 154 CM, uh, aluminum, aluminum housing here. Uh, cool knife, uh, about 365 bucks. Uh, next up is the, uh, the Mel Pardue Auto. There's this name. Uh, this one I got used. It's a little beat up. Uh, you can get these for about 200. Uh, I think I paid like 100 for it. So definitely look for them used. You can save a lot of money. Um, but you know, I think I lost a little bit of the tip on this. But uh, this one I dig. I carry this quite a bit. This is uh, I can actually take this into the office because because of, of the size is small. So uh, I've carved up some cardboard with it. It's not the not necessarily the best for that. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but you know it's an auto. What do you expect? So, anyways, those are the Benchmades. Uh, CNX probably zero tolerance. Have a good one, YouTube.